and welcome to a rather grey but uh, still playable day here at the Broadsheet Rugby Football Club near Coventry for the first game of the Daily Mail School's RBS Under-15 semi-finals weekend. We start uh, with Warwick School versus Bromsgrove School, two schools who haven't had to travel too far and have actually played each other once this season already with Bromsgrove beating Warwick. So here we go again. Will it be another catch and drive? It worked pretty well a couple of minutes ago. Henry Walker again to throw him. He's gone short again. They've set it up. And here comes the drive. Got a bit of momentum now. They're moving around. They've got to get that straight drive going on. Warwick have managed to bring it down. And out it goes. It's cut back in on the angle. Two big centres here for Bromsgrove. Certainly taking on the contact early doors. Bromsgrove certainly look like they've got the ascendancy in the packs. There we go. The ball is going to be slipping all over the shot. Oh, it's a mistake there. And the ball is fly hacked on by Warwick. There's a chance here. If they can get to it, if they can control it. There's a tussle of the ball. And Warwick have scored. Quite what David Elphinstone was doing there, trying to fly hack and hoof the ball forward after the knock on. I don't know. A little over 10 minutes left of this first half. Scores 8-5 to Bromsgrove. Warwick with the ball though. Putting in five metres outside the Bromsgrove try. Yeah, good platform. And they've done well there. They've held the strength. Number eight pick up. Well, they've done it. They've gone eight, nine, ten. Oh, that's a great move from the back there. Superb move. Scrum half dummy going left. Number eight dummy went on the rest. Go down to the blind side. They've opened it up. And straight through the middle. Great kick there by Elfinson. Certainly making up for his mistake earlier in the first Warwick try. So that takes the score to 10-11. So here we go. Gone to the middle again. It's a bit scrappy but they've managed to secure the ball and forward they go. James Taylor has missed his touch, which gives, oof, they have chased well all day. And Warwick benefited from the kick and chase, his toes hand off there, he's through! <laughs> and open side flanker, Jordan Aisley. <laughs> Giving it the ash flash. And Warwick have scored. And here comes a replay of it. Just power, great handoff, managed to hold his footing and outstrip the chasing defence. And there you go, the ash splash, as they like to call it. He will be talking about that in the corridors of Warwick School for months to come. And they've added the conversion, which means Warwick School and now 17-11 in the lead. They're still going. Warwick right on their line now. Bromsgrove have to score now if they're to get back in this game. Oh, it's tight. The forwards are keeping it tight. And they've opened it up. No, they've brought it back into the safety of the pack but Warwick's defence is holding out here oh, that's exciting stuff this they've gone there they're holding the backs they've got to go they've got numbers and they're over it's a try there for Captain Alexander Nisbet the forwards did a great job there in sucking in the Warwick's defence and then it was just a case of numbers and speed out wide and 
Brom's Grove of hell haven't released after the tackle Warwick are asking the ref is time up the penalty will be given in if they kick it out it will be a one point win for Warwick School it looks like and the ref blows for full time and Warwick have done it they have beaten Bromsgrove by 17 points to 16. They've turned the result around from earlier on in the school season. And you get the feeling that they are much happier with beating Bromsgrove on this day to put their place in the finals. The under 18 team, Warwick School under 18 team, were beaten last week by Northampton and missed out on a place in the finals. But the under 15s have done it and there are some very, very happy players. So second game of the day of the Daily Mail School's under 15 cup semi-final for Queen Elizabeth Grammar School Wakefield against Bishop Heaver High School. As Bishop Heaver comes straight back and he's got some space. So he's a great two on one. It's cleared through here, it's two on one again, it's chance the first try. Oh, it's a good scramble, oh, great offload though. And he's through. Oh, the ball's a bit slabbery, Keep... can they go through? Some great handling there for Bishop Heber. They've gone blind. The crowd are starting to make a noise. They've gone... Oh, the try has been given. They've gone blind. Despite having three players in front of him, they've managed to get the ball down. And the first try of the game, and the first points of the game, go to Bishop Heber. They've opened it up, looking for a line. That's a great ball, that. And he's found the gap, and he's through. The big outside centre has just been tapped, knocked off his stride a bit. It's a good cover defence. But they've made the break. They need quick ball here. Oh, Bishop Heaver have turned it over. The breaks, a great little move here. The big centre. Old field flies through. And a great cover defence there has come to nothing. So it's 5-0 at half time to Bishop Heber. We've got a cracking second half to come. Throw in. It's gone deep, but it's been taken by Bishop Heber. They secured the ball, looking over wide. Oh, a little bit of trouble. The pressure comes on, straight over the ball. Looks like they might have turned it. No, they've done well there, Bishop Heber. Or oh, have they? Rest diving in. Oh, they have turned it. So Quakes have got the ball. They got numbers if they can get the ball wide. The wing is on the wide here. The great handoff. Two handoffs. And in at the corner. A great finish there for Quegg's winger, Longhurst. So five all at the moment with Captain Allett to take the kick. A left footer. It's been kicked well from, uh, from hand. Let's see what he's like off the deck. He struck it very nicely. Has it got the legs? It has. That's a great kick there from Skipper Allett. The line out. And then put the drive in. Have uh, a big power again. But it's all about this line out throw, which they've done. And they've gone front, front of the line out. Good defence though by Bishop Heber. And the ball is down. They've done well to bring that down, so they haven't got them all. They're driving forward. Oh! so close his die for the line wrestling the ball back he's gone over again and it's been held up referee as a judged held up oh that was close there Quegg so nearly over the line which of course would have sealed it probably you'd have to think given the scoreline of 7-5 and the strong defences of both teams here we go see how close he is. Oh, oh, he might be over the line. <laughs> he looks very close to being over the line. Great work there from our cameraman to pick that up. But it is 
Oh, they've turned it over. No, no. Oh, drama here at Broad Street Rugby Football Club in the second of our live semi-finals of the Daily Mail Schools Cup. It's 7-5. The Queen Elizabeth Grammar School Wakefield over Bishop Huber High School. There are not many seconds left in this game. They're five metres from the line. Going for the shove. Oh, a grief to have shoved at an angle. The free kick and off come Bishop Heber. Can we get the dramatic finish? Can they go the length of the pitch? They can't afford to kick it away. Time is running out. They've got to look to spread it. They've got numbers here. If they can draw him, it's all about. There's a good tackle there. They dragged him out to touch. They've got the line out. And there goes the final whistle. And Queen Elizabeth Grammar School Wakefield have held on and booked their place at Twickenham for a final in two weeks. 7-5 the score. And it has been an absolute crack. And you can see it there, the excitement of the, of the, of the Queen Elizabeth Grammar School team. Quegg's under-15 side. They look exhausted, but elated too. It was a great game here. Both teams threw everything at each other. The defence was fantastic on both sides. I've never seen a game with so many turnovers. Two good tries, two really well-worked tries. Of course, Bishop Heber High School taking the lead with a try in the corner and taking a lead at half-time, 5-0. But Queen Elizabeth's grammar school coming right back into it straight after the break. The well-worked try for themselves. The conversion went over. And in the end, Captain Allett's kick was the difference. A great conversion, has to be said. It wasn't easy at all. It was a good five so metres in from the sideline, from the touchline. But it is Queen Elizabeth Grammar School, Wakefield 7, Bishop Heber High School 5. And it is a Queggs versus Warwick School in the final at Twickenham in two weeks' time for the Daily Mail Schools Under-15 Cup.